Hey everybody, Jordan from Wardrum Studios here, and today we are going to show off the brand new Tech Kibble processor. This is a mobile exclusive item that we've put into the dungeons for you all to find. And you can see right here, we've got a Tech Kibble processor in our little base. Uh, let's just take a little walk around it so you can see this bad boy. Our art department did a really cool job with it. You can see the kibble inside being run through those pipes. We've even got like an implant on the front here. Some cool stuff going on. Uh, so first things first, let's show off that blueprint since I'm sure some of you are very curious what this will cost to craft. Uh, so right there, you can see the crafting requirements. It's going to take some element, some ingot, some electronics, and some crystal. And so what you can do with the Tech Kibble processor is take any kibble in the game and turn it into another kibble. Uh, and you're going to do this by using the implant for the creature whose kibble you want. Uh, so what I've got over here is a little storage container with a bunch of different kibbles in it. And we're just going to take uh, some random ones. What's great about this is that it does not matter what kibble you're using uh, to convert into the new kibble. And what happens is we go over here, we open the inventory, and right there at the bottom of the processor, you can see it's telling you to use active implants and element to mold kibble into other forms. So, let's say we want some Baryonyx kibble, right? That's the preferred kibble of the Megatherium. Maybe you want to tame a Megatherium, but you don't want to go through the process of getting Baryonyx eggs and all that. So what we do is put an active baryonyx implant into the kibble processor. Very important that this is an active implant for it to work. Uh, then we're going to put some element in there. I don't think we'll quite need 333 as each process only costs one element. And then we're going to put some kibble in there. Uh, so what's great is that all the different creatures kibble that you want to make, they require various different amounts of kibble uh, based on... Um, sort of how hard that creature is to come by. And so we're leaving this up to you, the community, to figure out those exact conversion rates. Uh, but to get started, we'll take a look at the baryonics right now. Uh, so we've got some kibble in there, we've got our element, we've got our implant. You see now, once I select that implant, I have this process button here down in my inventory. And so we select that. It's going to tell me that I'm going to use one eerie element and various kibble, and I'm going to get six pieces of baryonics kibble back. So I think that sounds like a great deal. Gonna hit that button. There you go. It gave me my stack of six baryonyx egg kibble along with consuming the one element. And then of course it takes that implant away from me. Uh, so just to see this in action one more time for you guys, uh, let's just leave that in there. And I know griffin kibble is also something that a lot of people are looking for. They can't quite tame a griffin on their own for whatever reason. So here's a great way that you can get griffin kibble for yourself. You just have to go out there and manage to get an active griffin implant. We put that in there. I hit this process button. It's only going to give me one kibble because, as I said, there's different conversion rates. You can imagine that a griffin is going to have a higher conversion rate than baryonyx. And there we go. We now have our one Gif Griffin Kibble for me to use as I see fit. Now one other cool thing about the Tech Kibble processor that I want to point out is that you have a chance of getting eerie implants back. So we've given this a 1% chance to, instead of returning you Kibble, give you an eerie implant. So this is a great way for those of you who are not capable or do not want to run the dungeons to find some eerie creatures. If it is an eerie, if it is a creature that has an implant and has a kibble on the island, you can use this kibble processor to take your chance at getting an eerie variant back. So that, my friends, is how the tech kibble processor works. I hope you all enjoy this item when it comes out in an upcoming dungeon, and we'll see you around the island, everybody. Cheers.